lady. You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romantics. What is hope? Hope is. Any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Just a little. Hello, Arthur. You busy, Arthur? John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Mr. Bell from a hanging? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan, not our fault. Hey, Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. 
feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Ride fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See that there? Okay there. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? You can't fish without a pole. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Whoop, think I got one. Pull him in! Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? 
if you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. Is it a big one? And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Are you taking me back? Boy. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yep.
this necklace. Ain't that pretty. Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton, and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train, and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Now, don't get disheartened. I've been working on this. Ugh. Careful. Fun. Bye. How are you? Oh, I can't complain. Come on, boy. You're all right, boy. 
Bounty. Dietrich Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, Lone Shark. <laughs> Hammer. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Last chance to save your hand. Stop. But it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. You're no place to bargain, boy. Save me. Goddamn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Holy Moses. Aren't you gonna untie me? Here we go. You got the map. Do the decent thing. This could get bumpy. I need a We're favor. going for a walk. Go find a skirt to hide under. Hey, 
Easy, boy. Easy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Why are you going so slow? Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You for a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. Very much. 
left here, towards Rhodes. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan? Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on! Hey, get on there! Faster. All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and Shoot. nobody will get shot. Go! Everything you got. Money, valuable. Better than this. There you go. Maybe what you got, Let's mister. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. You. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I'll do anything. You're getting robbed, mister. I ain't got nothing. Everything you got. You want to have a little chat with Honey? Romeo and Juliet nothing here? Nothing else. Make me hurt you. What did I do? I am I a just to come for some problem here. They ain't worth dying over. Honey, I'm not going to tell Mr. Ed. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I'm gonna count to three. God damn it. Sick as bad and dead, lady. Thank you for my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a robbery. You Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about quick, that? Come on! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's gone. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Everything you got. Don't make me hurt you. Put it now. Bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Careful, Morgan. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. 
Provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a ride out with no fucking head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Oh, Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Hey, there's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. There! Oh, shit! We got more of them left! We got more! Over from the trees there! Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey! Hey! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hello, sir. New in town? Horse brushes and medicine in the corner over there. If you're the sort who needs that kind of thing. That's it for now. Goodbye. Morning to you. Good morning, mister. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You see, that train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Hey, howdy, sir. Don't work too hard, man. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hello, sir. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Need to get moving on this, Arthur. Come on, man, hitch up. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. 
Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Ha! Boy. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. There, boy. up there. Get a proper view. <laughs> so I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close enough to make them cut and run. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards.
pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah. Whoa. Just watch out for wolves. What will you ride? All right, I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. What are you getting off for? Come on now. We gotta get this herd to town. The Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. That's more like it. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is?
Oi. I put a little distance between you and this herd if I were you. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Well, I never really was. Look out! <laughs> Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No more do I want this Dutch You 
on the back of John's horse, and let's get out of here. <laughs> you make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Better get out of here. heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. spot to camp we're packing up and moving on again we have to and fast we'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in valentine ah uh, that didn't sound good uh, killed a lot of law killed a lot of cornwalls man they must know where we are by now
He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted men. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you asked me. Hold up. Let me check this. Continues along the shore here. Now, as I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Eh, uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real... Wait a second, just want to look closer here.
They carry on along this trail. So, yeah, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did. And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a cap up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there easier to defend maybe Looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! There, all of them? Doesn't look like it. We got more riding in! Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last one's making it! Well, that's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los! It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah! 